Hello guys welcome to our channel, in this video, we will see what is Spring Boot. Spring Boot uses completely new development model to make Java development very easy by avoiding some tedious development steps and boilerplate code and configuration. Spring Boot is a framework from the Spring team to ease the bootstrapping and development of new Spring application. Spring Boot makes it easy to create standalone, production-grade Spring-based applications that you can just run. We take an opinionated view of the Spring platform and third-party libraries some. You can get started with minimum fuss. Most Spring Boot applications need very little Spring configuration. Spring Boot framework is auto-dependency resolution, auto-configuration, management 10 points. Embedded HTTP servers Tomcat, Jetty and Spring Boot CLI Advantages of Spring Boot Absolutely no code generation and no requirement for XML, not an even web.xml configuration. Provide production-ready features such as metrics, health checks, and externalized configuration. Automatically configure Spring whenever possible. Embed Tomcat, Jetty or Undertow directly saw no need to deploy a WAR file. Provide opinionated starter palms to simplify your Maven configuration. Simplifies your spring dependencies, no more version collisions. Avoid to add a lot of dependencies using Spring Boot Starter Weebit will skip a lot of dependencies. Read configuration from application.properties file. Easy to integrate security and data. Let's implement. Let's first create a new Spring project. You can select packing from jar to war or war to jar, can change Java version. Enter the package whatever you want. This time it's a web application so check web check, and click on finish. Let's run and see if it's working fine or not. See server started. Let's see what are the things palm.xml includes by default. Servlet initializer class created because we select packaging as the war file. Instead of default name let's change it to application. Initially, application properties file is empty. Here you can put your required configuration, let's say I want to change server ports so I can put whatever I want. There are so many properties. Let's add context path also so when application run, it will open as local lost 9090 spring boot. Let's create one simple controller so one application run, and when we open it should show some message so we are going to add the simple code.
Let's restart. It started. Let's open in browser. See the message is coming. But if add some changes in a message it will reflect or not just after refresh. See it's not showing changes, for that, we need to add something else. Let's see what is that. What is DevTools in Spring Boot? Spring Boot 1.3 will ship with a brand new module called Spring Boot DevTools. The aim of this, the module is to try and improve the development time experience when working on Spring Boot applications. Once you added Spring Boot DevTools as a Maven dependency in palm.xml after that no need to restart server every time whenever code changes happen so it will do an automatic restart. So here is the dependency. Let's check Maven dependency. See when you open Spring documentation page, there you can see the dependency. Let's copy and put it in Palm XML file. See, after adding dependency and one it's downloaded. Dev tools you can see along with the project name in the project explorer. Let's restart and see it's working or not. See as I save my changes automatic restart happens. And see changes are showing. What is an actuator in Spring Boot? Spring Boot actuator includes a number of additional features to help you monitor and manage your application when it pushed to production. You can choose to manage and monitor your application using HTTP endpoints, with JMX or even by a remote shell SSH or Telnet. Actuator endpoints allow you to monitor and interact with your application. Spring Boot includes a number of built-in endpoints and you can also add your own. To enable actuator need to add a Spring Boot starter actuator dependency in Palm XML file. Once you add it then you can monitor some of the things like health, metrics, heap dump, info, dump, config props, trace, environment, beans, mappings, auto config using the actuator. Output comes as JSON. Let's check Maven dependency for an actuator. See for that also documentations are available. So let's copy and put it on palm xml file. Let's restart and see we can monitor all those things or not. As you can see after adding dependency all are the things which we can monitor that comes inside the log. Let's check for all output is coming or not. See it's coming. Oops, it's giving some security issue. So let's make it false from application properties file. See everything is coming. That's the beauty of Spring Boot. Now whichever we can monitor for all those who need to do some exercises.
let's see whatever we added. I hope you like this video. For more updates, please subscribe our channel.